weapons that contain a large number of non-standard technological solutions for their time often turn out to be unreliable in operation, and those that claim to be universal cannot successfully solve any of the assigned to them tasks. Is that true? Let's find out! Hello, new soldier in touch! Today the Russian Graza is fighting against the Austrian AUG. Let's start with the AUG, Universal Army Rifle, which in practice has proved to be both durable and versatile. Some of its competitors are already been withdrawn from service, but there is no talk of replacing the AUG. Design The Steyr AUG automatic rifle is one of the first mass-produced bullpup assault rifles when the trigger and pistol grip are placed in front of the magazine. This reduces the overall length of the weapon with the same barrel length. The rifle is disassembled into several modules. This is the barrel, an aluminum receiver, a ball group assembly and a plastic casing containing the trigger and return springs, and also acting as a butt. The AUG is the gas-operated rifle, with a rotating bolt locking method. The firearm uses a three-position gas valve, which ensures the operation of automation in fault conditions. The third position is used to fire blunt cartridges and launch rifle grenades of the non-bullet trap type. Most modifications fire from a closed bolt, but machine guns fire from an open bolt. Many of the solutions used to create weapons of the Steyr AUG family were previously known. For example, an assault rifle with a bullpup steam has been developed in the UK since the late 40s, and the Stoner family of modular weapons was used to a limited extent by special forces in Vietnam. However, the Austrians either used them for the first time in weapons of this class or brought them to mass production for the first time. The versatility of the rifle is provided by a set of interchangeable barrels of various length. Have you ever held and used an AUG rifle? Share your opinion about it in the comments below the video. The barrels are made by cold forging, chrome plated from the inside. The gas cylinder is on the right side of the barrel. The barrel locks into a steel insert inside the receiver through a system of 8 lugs by turning, and is fixed with a latch. It can't be changed in about 6 seconds. The standard rifle barrel has a length of 508 mm. Short barrels of 350 mm and 407 mm are available for carbines. The length of the weighted barrel for sniper rifles and light machine guns is 621 mm. The rifling twist is chosen to ensure effective shooting of both old M193 and later SS109 bullets. Standard rifle grenades can be launched from 407 and 508 mm flash suppressors. The heavy barrel is equipped with a combination of flash suppressor and compensator. Another feature of the AUG was the lack of a fire selector switch. Pulling the trigger halfway produces semi automatic fire, pulling the trigger all the way to the rear produces fully automatic fire. There are variants of the trigger mechanism that allow you to shoot bursts of three rounds and do not have an automatic mode at all. A left-handed shooter can convert a rifle to a left-handed one by changing the bolt and rearranging the ejection port cover. The carrying handle mounted on top is also a non-removable optical sight manufactured by Swarovski Optic. It has a 1.5x magnification and a simple black ring reticle. The sight should provide reliable defeat of manpower at ranges up to 300 meters. There is a backup iron sight with a rear notch and front blade on the housing. Samples with a heavy barrel modification T had a body with a mount for other optical or night sights. Ammunition feeding is done using translucent plastic magazines with a capacity of 30 or 42 rounds that do not comply with STANAG standard. Despite the small length of the AUG, a bayonet lock is provided. Usually the American M7 is used. The installation of underbarrel grenade launchers on early modifications could only be carried out after a special refinement. On later models, the grenade launcher is mounted on a Picatinny rail under the barrel, instead of the forward grip. Steyr AUG variants from A1 to A3. The first basic modification was the Steyr AUG A1 prototype. Specific features of this model are a fixed vertical forward grip, 
A built-in optical sight with a magnification of 1.5 time. Its body is made integral with the receiver and has a name and mark in form of a ring, as well as a locking handle for adjustment. In case of a damage of the optic, there is a backup iron sight on top of the body. The barrel is called forged and is mounted on 8 lugs to the Steyr AUG A1 receiver by turning. An adapter with a sear lever of the main tactical grip is attached to it. The length of the assault rifle barrel is 508 mm. The hunting carbine has a length of 407 mm. A flash suppressor with an internal thread is screwed onto the barrel of the rifle for mounting devices for firing rifle grenades or blanks. It is possible to install underbarrel grenade launchers of the NKAG-36 or M203 systems on the Steyr AUG A1. It is possible to transform the rifle into a submachine gun chambered for 9x19 caliber. To do this, the bolt group is replaced with a new one, open bolt, and the magazine receiver adapter is installed. The Steyr AUG A2 prototype is a 5.56 caliber semi-automatic hunting carbine with single shot firing mode. It differs from the basic model by the presence of a folding fore grip and a universal Vivier rail mount. It is possible to install various optical sights and additional weapons accessories on it. The Steyr AUG A3 prototype was released in 205 by Steyr Mannlicher. The model is a mini-sized assault rifle and has a bullpup layout with good accuracy. With this arrangement, the ball group, the bridge and the magazine are located behind the trigger and firing grip. The main difference of this prototype is that instead of an integrated optical system, there is a Picatinny rail on top of the receiver with four guides. Any type of optical scopes, a collimator sight, can be mounted on the upper rail. The lower one is used to install a vertical grip or a special 40mm underbarrel grenade launcher. A laser sight, a tactical flashlight or a night vision device can be installed on the sights. Gas operation is based on a gas vent mechanism with a short stroke piston system. The barrel is locked by a rotary bolt with 7 lugs located in the receiver. The Steyr AUGZ is equipped with a transparent plastic magazine with a reduced capacity of 10 rounds. The 55 cm long barrel is equipped with a slotted integrated flash suppressor. It has a Picatinny rail for quick installation of any optical devices on the receiver. The modern Steyr AUG assault rifle is a design with a wide range of options for the competent use of AUG rifles. By adding various detachable blocks, it can be easily transformed into a light machine gun, carbine, sniper rifle or submachine gun. In addition to Austria, Steyr AUG small arms are adopted by the following countries – Ireland, New Zealand, Austria, Oman, Saudi Arabia, Morocco, Bolivia. Currently, it is also actively used by law enforcement agencies in many countries, as well as serious security companies. And now let's talk about the Graza, or in other words, about the OC-14 Graza, which some consider the most unusual Russian machine gun, others on the contrary a dummy. The Graza submachine gun is a rifle grenade launcher system produced in Russia more than 20 years ago. Its design caused a lot of controversy, it was constantly compared with the famous AK. It is still considered one of the most controversial types of weapons. When developing the OC-14 Graza, the designers pursued several goals. The first is the defeat of enemy manpower in openly located areas, even if it is equipped with personal armor. The second is defeat transport and light armored vehicles. In this case, the weapon should give a minimum number of ricochet. A trial sample was introduced in 1994. It consisted of an assault rifle, a GP-25 underbarrel grenade launcher, VOG-25 and VOG-25P fragmentation rounds, and special SP-5 and SP-6 cartridges. The weapon was first tested in combat during the first Chechen campaign. Design and features Graza is close in design to the AKS-74U, but this weapon is designed according to the same layout as the Austrian AUG Balpup. This decision made it possible to minimize the dimensions and increase the balance. The pistol grip is moved forward, which increases the accuracy of shooting. The fighter securely holds the weapon in his hands. The butt plate is attached to the rear of the receiver. The automation mechanisms and the magazine are located behind the firing grip. 
The operation scheme of the Graza automation does not differ from the AKS-74U. It is based on the use of the energy of high-pressure gas from the cartridge being fired. It is discharged from the barrel, which is locked by a rotary bolt. The gas outlet system was changed. The port was moved back and connected to the gas chamber using a special tube. The trigger mechanism of the Graza assault rifle is designed for aimed fire, both single shots and firing in long bursts. The function of the safety catch is carried out by the mod selector. It is located on the left at the base of the firing grip. Control over fire from a machine gun and a grenade launcher is carried out using this mechanism and the trigger. The operating scheme is as follows. The trigger is connected by a rod to the trigger of the grenade launcher. Connection with the automation is provided by a pusher. Mod selector is used for mod switching. You can fire from this weapon with several types of cartridges. 9x39mm SP57N8 or SP67N9, increased armor penetration and snipers. The bullets fired from the Graza cartridge move at subsonic speed, which makes it possible to effectively use the detachable suppressor. Ricochet occur in rare cases, therefore they are great for urban environments. The supply of cartridges is carried out from a 20-round magazine. The grenade launcher is designed for fragmentation ammunition VOG25 or VOG25P. They are fed from the muzzle. Unloading is carried out by pressing the ejector. A front sight and rear sight of the weapon are located on the carrying handle. The tangent sight has a drum for adjustment. There are range marks on its sides 50, 100, 150 or 200 meters. The upper edge of the side leaf has been replaced by a special disc with a notch, which can be switched to a diopter. To do so, the disc must be rotated 180 degrees. When conducting a battle with a grenade launcher, it is necessary to use a frame sight, which is designed for plunging and flat fire. For the first type, a front sight mounted on the muzzle of the barrel is used, and for the second, the front sight of the rifle is used. The combat range is 400 meters. Graza is characterized by compact dimensions and low weight, design is aspired to such characteristics. Transportation of the rifle is not difficult. The use of 9mm cartridge allows you to achieve a high penetrating ability of this weapon. And again, friends, share your experience with Graza in the comments under the video. What are its advantages and disadvantages in your opinion? The combat use of the OC-14 Graza made it possible to identify both the advantages and disadvantages of this model. Members of Special Forces noted the following advantages of this weapon. Compact dimensions and relatively low weight. High reliability equal to the Kalashnikov assault rifle. A small muzzle jump and good balance, which is ensured by the use of bullpup layout. Reducing the volume of the battle by attaching a suppressor. Bullets have excellent striking characteristics. Accurate defeat of live targets in bulletproof vests and behind shelters. This action ensures high accuracy of battle, high rate of fire and powerful penetrating effect of cartridges. The design of weapon combines an assault rifle, a grenade launcher and a sniper rifle. The bullpup layout also introduced some design disadvantages that the legendary AK does not have. Due to the short sight in line, it is difficult to choose the aiming point, especially if the target is at a long distance. The bracket for the dull tail sight needs to be installed separately. Cartridge cases are thrown to the right side when firing from the Graza, so the battle cannot be fought from the left shoulder. This creates some inconvenience during operation. Automatic grenade launcher mods cannot be quickly switched due to the single trigger design. The use of the bullpup layout caused difficulties when changing magazines. For models without a grenade launcher, the center of gravity is significantly shifted back. Some of the listed disadvantages are fairly easy to resolve. The balance of the machine is greatly improved by attaching the suppressor. Installing a collimator sight increases the sight in line. Many of them do not manifest themselves when the rifle is used in the urban environment for which it is intended. However, many members of the Special Forces noted that with the intensive use of weapons, a large amount of powder gases is released. They strongly irritate the mucous membranes of the mouth and eyes. Graza modifications The modular scheme allows you to transform the rifle into various modifications, allowing it to be used in appropriate combat conditions. OC 144A Individual assault weapon 9x40mm 
It consists of a rifle and an underbarrel grenade launcher. Odd C14 for A01, assault rifle equipped with an auxiliary for grip. Odd C14 for A02, a compact assault rifle. Unlike the previous modification, it does not have a muzzle with an auxiliary for grip. Odd C14 for A03, assault rifle equipped with a suppressor. It is mounted instead of a muzzle. It reduces the sound level produced by up to 118 decibels. Odd C14 Graza 1 TKB 0239 Designed for Army Special Forces, modified for a cartridge of 7.62 by 39 mm. The model is available in versions of the rifle with a grenade launcher and in a special form with a suppressor and an optical sight day or night. In general, the Graza is a modular complex that allows you to effectively solve various combat tasks. Removing the grenade launcher and installing the front tactical grip turns it into an assault weapon. It is used for short and long distances. Equipment with a suppressor and an optical sight makes it possible to operate covertly and silently. This feature facilitates the removal of protection from the target and the destruction of disparate enemy groups. At the same time, fighters using Graza do not reveal their location. And optics allows you to be at a considerable distance from the target. Suppressor not only dampens the noise of the shot, but also eliminates the model flash. Therefore, combat operations can be carried out at night. Various modifications of the odd 14 assault rifle were used during the first and the second Chechen campaigns. They were used to arm the army special forces, special forces of the internal troops and the FSB. That's all, friends! Today we objectively told you about two rifles designed according to the bullpup layout. Today the last word is yours. Write your thoughts in the comments and do not forget to subscribe to the channel, so you do not miss the new video. Narrated by Maxim Nikulin for New Soldier Channel.